Hello and welcome to another W2Net Plays as I'm here doing the part 2 of chapter 2 of Digimon Cyber Sooth Hacker's Memory I just happened to start it here at the screen uh, last time basically uh, Keske was introduced to Eden and how to start getting uh, missions basically or how to solve missions uh, you got to go through two side quests and now you're basically going on the first official story mission of Eden here after the tutorial the hour-long tutorial that was chapter one so here's Keske and Erica going through hereこの丸部屋の秘めばちちゃん。この子はこのエリア一帯を監視している丸部屋なんだけど、現地不能な何かを捉えたみたい。解析装置が処理を終了できなくて、エラー。君、この辺りで情報収集してきて。この子が何を見
ハッキングの痕跡はないみたいだけど。うん。うそ。猫。本当にいた。ちょっとやれ、砂がとまん。ミュージナちゃん、追いかけて。Know why I had to do a huge cutaway like there was gonna be a cutscene just to do that, but alright. Ah, Galactica Park. There are lots of places to hide here, I'll take a look around. Let's look in the playground. Not under there. It's not in the tire thing. Basketball goal. Oh, a basically somewhat stuffed bear. Oh. So it just changed co- Wow, so it's, there's two cats? Okay. So she just brings the whale thing with her everywhere? リアルタイムで暗号化されてる通常のアクセスじゃ弾かれるそれなら捕まえた君行ってきて and just as I suspected I mean not that they didn't make it obvious what this was Welcome to the Digilab. Spectacled beauty. Swear. <笑>私はミカグラビエ。そうね。ここの管理人みたいなものよ。この場所から<笑> All 
Alright, so this is the Digilab. This is your shop for the Digilab, which lets you buy them uh, things for the farm, including the exciting meat, which, if it actually hits, can give them some big stats. This is what I was talking about earlier in one of the other videos. Uh, those digital network things when you get to them they'll be right here and you can go in and train your new Digimon that you got this would allow you to recover if for if your Digimon had actually been injured here's the Digi farm and so here you have the island at some point you'd be able to upgrade and add other islands you can have to forward them and then here's where you'll right now i can't do anything because i don't need digimon on it obviously but you can tell them to investigate you can tell them to develop the island even more you can tell them to uh to, or you can train them which has its own bonuses and uh, weaknesses there uh you can determine the leader which i think the leader actually levels up faster than the other ones uh, that you have on here and then farm expansions you get throughout playing the game so you won't get that by doing anything with the island itself that's actually by playing the game the digibank is the most important thing is what you'll do the most here so okay whenever you have a, a digimon that you've gotten to 100 percent you can actually wait until you've gotten to 200 percent but you've also got to meet them five more times so you might be in an area where a certain digimon is rare and you may not see them very often and you don't want to sit i mean if you don't want to sit there and grind and try to find them a bunch of times you can go ahead and do the 100 percent but waiting to 200 percent or 150 is actually good because there's a better chance that later on when you want to digivolve them you don't have to de-digivolve them to get them to the level that they need or the stats they need to go cover the path that you want them to take so here's all the digimon that i've met so far and none of them are over 100 percent, so i can't convert any of them those automatically go into your bank and then you have to decide where you want to put them so tentamon's already at level nine so if you ever want to find out what you, the digivolutions are for your pope your digimon you just go right here uh, see, I can de-digivolve Tentamon if I wanted to have him get a bigger max level and bigger stats. He go back to Multimon. The thing is, every time you do this, they go back to level 1. And also, every time you digivolve them, they go to level 1 as well. Uh, so, I mean, they gain levels really fast, so it's not a big deal. But, I mean, I obviously wouldn't do this if you're about to face a... If you know you're about to face a boss or something, I wouldn't digivolve your Digimon or I digivolve them and put them into your reserves or something like that. Uh, so here's, this also shows you all the digivolutions that are possible for him to get into his champion form. So like for say Tentamon, he has Kabuterimon, which is the one he had in the show. Wasmon. Ah, uh, this is some kind of spider, which I can't remember what it is. This is Stingmon right here. Uh, the the path that Warmmon took in the season two show, and here's Sunflowmon uh, as well. So I'm gonna go with the regular old Kabuterimon. But th what's cool about this too is if for some reason you're watching this, you haven't played too many Digimon games. This encourages you to go and get various Motimon because then you can go and have so many different Digivolutions. And they all come from Motimon. So you don't have to follow the path of Tentamon that you've seen in the Digimon anime. You can just have him do this. And then you can go get another Motimon. Maybe one that's stronger that you got at 200%. And you get him. You can have him be the Kabuterimon or whatever. You know, whatever you choose to do. But I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, apparently for Kabuterimon I have to be level 14. So that's the only one that I can't do. When you've actually reached all the quotas that you need, 
it'll have little circles instead of the X's and it'll say Digimon Volu or Digivolution Possible in red. And then you can, it'll play a little cutscene and you'll have your new Digivolution or whatever. So for a lot of the regular, uh, for the babies, usually by like level seven or eight, you'll get to evolve them into their rookies. And then this is around like level 15 or so they'll be able to go to their champions and so on level 30 usually goes to the the ultimates and to get to mega you have to go like level 50 or 60 uh, depending so all right so that's pretty much what you do in uh in the digi lab uh, we have no use for it right now because i don't have any of the digimon so. あなたがここに来たことには人何か意味があるはず。しっかり利用してデジモンとの交わりを深めなさい。最後にもう一つ。プレゼント。ハッキングスキルはデジモンを刺激することで発揮される。ハッカー御用達にとても危険な力。でもあなたはあの子とは違い、生粋のハッカーのようだから、わざわざ私が言うまでもないわ。あなたをここに導いたのはあなたの運命の一つ。面白い女の子。今もここを探ろうとしているわ
そう考えれば辻褄が合うもん電脳空間の隠し部屋を補足できないのはその人が常にエリアを移動させ続けているからこのエデンでそんなことするにはかなり膨大な規模の演算装置がないと不可能だけどよく考えればエデンにそういうものがないわけじゃないしねねやっぱりオカルトじゃなかった<音声>あの猫あれだってログを解析すればただのもうちょっとは自分で考えなよ。A wormmon being chased by a wasmon, interesting. <laughs> so, like the hacking skills you'll that, uh, like the one Mirai gave Mirai 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 gave you, gave you is uh, stuff you'll get throughout. That one probably is one of those that like breaks the wall, uh, which is usually the first thing that you get. Uh, oh, there's oh, metal. Oh, poor one. Uh... Oh, that's cool. She helps you with your attack and defense being upgraded. That does not make sense to me. You're the same type, but you do 2.2 times the power. Oh, now he's at level 11. Awesome. And that'll happen quite often with sometimes they'll gain more than one level. Uh... <clears throat>
Oh, he's lost too. Insane. Digital world. I can probably get that sleep. We're gonna think his voice is really annoying, or we're gonna think it's really cute. She is really insensitive. Not have any sensitivity at all. Oh. Oh, that's that's sad. He started crying. This is one of the ones where I would say I definitely like the voice in English for Wormon more than the Japanese. Sounds more like it should be coming out of a bug.
See, she says that she didn't care about Digimon at all, but there she goes, caring already. <clears throat> and that means I'm already at chapter three. So I'm going to call it for this video here. Thank you for uh, being with me for the second part of uh, Chapter 2 of Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory. And I'll be back pretty soon with uh, Chapter 3, Demon Slaying Ikebukuro. And I'm sure that they'll finally let uh, Keske be able to do some stuff with Digimon. We'll have to see how Wormmon is doing and everything else. So, until then... Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you have here. We also have a bunch of podcasts, as you can see, on the YouTube channel there. Uh, we have a video games one that comes out every week. And uh, other stuff as well, wrestling, uh, football, soccer, inter ver various entertainment things. Uh, we have various members of the staff that also do their own streaming. Uh, Saki Sakura. Uh, for one of them, she's the one that does it the most out of anybody. So definitely want to go check her out. And yeah, um, well, I'll keep trying to do this as much as I can. Collecting gameplay for the review of this game. Until then, later folks.